Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman and welcome back for another video in this series about thyroid disorders as well as other conditions that this can, this can lay hand in hand with all other conditions. This video about diabetes, fibromyalgia, neuropathy conditions, but really in this video in particular we're going to talk about thyroid and what you've got to understand is that when your doctor runs a what's called on your blood test called a CBC with auto differential, hopefully you've heard of that or seen that, a CBC. CBC means a complete blood cell test. Differential means we're going to look at those red blood cells and we're going to look at all the components of those red blood cells. Auto differential on the white blood cell side of your blood cell system. We're going to look at the particular kinds of white blood cells. Something that I've seen in my practice is that the doctor doesn't report to the patient that they see that there's some kind of infection. And if they do, all they have in their toolbox is antibiotics. Whether they think it's a bacteria or whether they just, or it's a virus, or whether they don't even know what it is, they just prescribe antibiotics, or sometimes they just don't even talk about it at all. And that's not okay. Um, even your urine, beside your blood, your urine can be checked for white blood cells. We could see if there's actual damage to the lining of the, uh, in the kidneys, to the lining of your urethra, Okay, we've got to see if there's any kind of cells that are appearing in your urine that don't belong there. And the last part is, do you know the five kinds of white blood cells? So first of all, I've had people come into my practice. They bring their blood cell tests, we look at their thyroid, we look at all the different markers that have been run in their blood tests in the past. And um, one in particular, one last week, this woman comes in, she's taking immunosuppressive medication for her immune disease and says, yes, I already know I have a low white blood cell count. I look at the blood cell test and I see there's high blood cells of one kind of those white blood cells, low of another one, and high of another one. That means that she doesn't have a suppressed immune system. That means if she has high white blood cells of one kind, let's show you these in particular, she had, excuse me, she had high neutrophils, low lymphocytes, and high monocytes. What does that mean? If the white blood cells in general, WBC on the blood cell test looked low, doctor told her, and this is who she's trusting with her health, hey, you've got an immune suppressed condition because you're taking those immunosuppressive medications that we're prescribing to you. Okay, she's not feeling well, not, everything is not working right, comes in here for a consultation. And I look at the white blood cell test and I looked at the components of the white blood cells and we see that these were high. If those white blood cells are high, that means that she has an acute infection. That means that there's a lot of those neutrophil white blood cells that are out in the system going after something. Most likely there's a bacteria, could be something else, but most commonly neutrophils are active for bacteria. So that tells me that it's not a depressed immune system. That tells me that something is really going on in that body trying to fight something. When we look at the lymphocytes, this commonly means that there's a virus, there could be something else. I'll show you a list on the next page here. But that was low, so maybe we think, all right, well, if we look at that, maybe it's suppressed, or maybe, just maybe, that she has a chronic battle. When we look at white blood cells, we can tell, is there a new infection, or is there an old infection that we're still trying to fight? How do we tell this? If there's a new infection, when we look at a white blood cell test, we'll see the H next to that one particular white blood cell. So let's go back here a moment Excuse me. If we look up here and we see WBC, which stands for white blood cells, if that's high or low, high means it's a new infection, low means it's a chronic infection. If there's a high neutrophil, a new infection. If there's a low neutrophil, that means the body is so chronic, it's so long of a fight that it's lost the light of those white blood cells in the battle. Just like if we go to war and our soldiers are killed in war. If we sent over a thousand and we get back 500, we have a low count compared to what was normal. Does that make sense? So let's look at certain things that can cause these changes in the immune system. Bacteria, viruses. Well, let me be clear about something. If you have a lymphocyte that's high or low, it does not fight bacteria. That white blood cell does not go after bacteria. Neutrophils do. Lymphocytes don't go after bacteria. So we've got to be able to understand what's going on and how to really get down to the skill of, of testing your body to see, do you have this bacteria? Is there a parasite? Is there, an, is there a fungus? Is there a mold? Is there a yeast? Is there something in your body that's making these white blood cells 
get out of control so that we can calm that down because when the white blood cells are not showing normal levels, you know what that means? That means that your immune system is actively fighting something and we need to figure that out. Because if your immune system is actively fighting something, then you know what happens. You can turn into what's called an autoimmune thyroid condition and then we've got to figure that out as well, right? Because it's not just, well, I have this autoimmune disease and I could take medicine. We've got to figure out why you have it, get down to the root cause of it. So there could be allergic responses, viruses, parasites, bacteria, even from cancer. With cancer, we know that there is a depressed immune system. That is true. So if you really like to learn more, if you have somebody around you that you know has cancer, I've got another website that I've created with a ton of information on there called Hope For Your cancer.com hope for is spelled f-o-r not the number for hope for your cancer.com i'm getting a fellowship in integrative cancer therapy through the school called the a4m and there is some incredible information that i've learned that you're just not hearing about in on the news and in uh, the medical world about uh, cancer so if you know somebody with cancer, you can tell them to look there. Radiation therapy, leukemia, immune suppressing drugs, chemotoxic drugs called chemotherapy, and even HIV. These can cause changes in these white blood cells. If you don't have AIDS or HIV and you don't have cancer, at least not that you know of yet, hopefully you don't ever get there, but these neutrophils, lymphocytes, eosinophils, monocytes, and basophils, we've got to be able to figure out what kind of infection, why they're high or low. So if your doctor's not reporting to you white blood cells and why, then you need to really figure that out. And you got to take it upon yourself to start looking around for another one. If you don't like your tailor or dry cleaner or mechanic, what do you do? Do you keep going there just because your, your, which your car insurance doesn't pay for your mechanic? Your health insurance doesn't pay for your dry cleaning? If you're not happy with the dollars you're spending, if you're happy with your dollars but you're not happy spending it on a job that you're not satisfied with in the dry cleaner or the restaurant or the mechanic, what do you do? You find a different restaurant, you find a different dry cleaner, a different tailor, a different mechanic. Just because your insurance may pay that physician, are you gonna stay there? If you're not happy with the work, if you're not happy with the outcome, maybe you like the person, but maybe you're just not happy with the results you're getting. You gotta take care of yourself, okay? Once I share this with you about white blood cells, I look forward to helping you uh, with more information to come. And I really wanna thank you for listening to this one. See you on another video.